Hello, I'm Carolyn and in this video I'm going to show how you can make objects symmetrical quite easily in Inkscape. If I look closely at this butterfly, I can see this side and this side are different. It's not quite symmetrical and the wing tips are different. And if I'm doing an object that's symmetrical, I like both sides to be exactly the same. I find using guides makes the following steps easier. If you haven't used guides before, this grey shaded area where your rulers are across the top and down the side, all you have to do is come along, hold down the left mouse button and drag out a guide. So I'm just going to place that central. Now I've already got snapping turned on. See this little icon here? That's snapped to guides. I recommend it's on for the next stage. Before I delete one of these sides, I'm just going to double click and have a look at the nodes and see which side I prefer. Sometimes you find one side is really messy and has lots and lots of nodes. I actually think I prefer this side. So what I'm going to do is just draw a rectangle. I'm just going to move it along. So I've snapped to guides already turned on. This will just snap onto that guideline. Then I'm just going to hold down the left mouse button, drag it round the butterfly and the rectangle so both are selected. Then go path difference. If I'm going to do any further design work, I usually just do it on half. So when I duplicate it, I know it will be identical on the other side. But I also come in and tidy up my file. And this is a little bit thin, so I just might make it a little bit wider, just so it cuts a little bit easier. Once again, that's totally personal preference. When I've finished making changes to my butterfly, I'm going to select this half, then I'm going to duplicate it. Then I'm just going to flip it horizontal. I'm just going to move it along and place it on the guideline. Now I can see here that they're not quite touching. So just move that into the line and move that one in. And instead of taking ages trying to line these two up perfectly, I'm just going to select them both. So the left side's already selected. I'll hold down the shift key and click on the right side. While they're both selected, I'll open alignment and then I just might align them along the bottom edges. Didn't look like they moved much. If I look closely here now, I can see they're nicely aligned. All I have to do then is go path union. Now if I move it aside, you can see I've now got a complete butterfly. All I have to do now is save my file. I've also got this written up on my blog with pictures and a PDF form to download the instructions. Thank you for your time. Bye.